Hi, I'm Tony Anscombe. This is an AVG Academy video. Today we're going to look at how to set up some basic parental controls on a nice new shiny iPad. I've already synced it with my iTunes account, so it's got all my apps on it. Uh, but obviously it's not secured, so it hasn't got a PIN number or password uh, to protect the things I might have on it, like personal information or access to some of the apps. So I turn it on and I swipe to get into it. And if I go into the settings here, one of the options is passcode under, under the settings. Uh, if I turn on the passcode, it's going to ask me for a four-digit number. Think of something you're going to remember in the same way we do for our ATM card and things like that. Put it in. I'm going to use all zeros on this just for demonstration purposes. It's now asking me whether I want to use that with my iCloud keychain. That's where Apple store all your passwords and all your configuration about your Apple devices. So I'm going to say, uh, don't change this because I'm demonstrating this to you. And there you go. Now we should have an easy to access passcode set. So if I now swipe to turn on, there we are. I've got to enter the passcode. That's step one of securing the iPad. So the next thing we're going to look at is how to set some restrictions on things our kids can do on the device. So if under general, you can see I've got restrictions here. If I click on restrictions, first thing it needs me to do is enable the restrictions. Now it's going to ask me for a PIN number. This is a different number to what I configured to unlock the device. So my kids might know how to unlock the device, but not turn off the parental controls. So I'm going to use 11111 as my PIN number for demonstration. Obviously have something a little bit more difficult. And there's a whole heap of options here now that I can go and look at. For example, I can now turn and say, my kids can't install apps. So I can turn that feature off. I can stop my kids from deleting apps. Again, you know, turning that feature off to stop them removing something, maybe that's got personal data in it. I can also block in-app purchases. Super important, this one, because if your kids are playing a game, a lot of apps will start asking your kids about Oh, you know, upgrade for this level or buy these extra coins or whatever. So turn the in-app purchases off. It means anything that needs to in-app purchase, they're going to have to come back to you as the parent and ask for permission, which is a good place to be. The next part we're going to look at here is the allowed content. Firstly, telling my iPad where I am is a good thing because it allows me to pick up the content meanings that I'm going to understand as a parent. So for example, now if I go into movies, I can turn and say, well, actually, my kids can only see everything up to a PG. So if I click on PG, I get PG and G allowed. And I can save that setting. I can turn off explicit music. Uh, you know, when you download music, it often says those tracks are explicit. Doesn't mean as adults we can't listen, but if I turn this feature off, it means my kids aren't going to be able to listen to it on this device. Um, I can also set required password. You know how you might use your iPad, pass it across to your kids, you can set this down as low as you want it to be so that if you've used the password and you've passed the iPad on, then actually they're not going to be able to use the password because you've just used it. Um, always important. The next thing we're going to look at is advertising. I'm going to limit the ad tracking feature here. What it means is my kids are not going to see ads based on my interest or things that I've been doing on the iPad before they were doing it. Uh, good thing to turn off. So those are some basic safety tips of securing your iPad. I would recommend going through all these different restrictions in your own time and setting this the way you want it to be set. So congratulations. We've set up those basic parental controls and your iPad is a bit safer for your kids. I'm Tony Anscombe. This is an AVG Academy video and we look forward to seeing you next time.